the depth that we have is what comes from having informatics in the Salt Lake Valley for so many years. So we, we can easily say we've had informatics here in Utah for 50 years. So the University of Utah has a long history of biomedical informatics, which is quite unique. Back in the 1960s, Homer Warner was one of the individuals that started the field of biomedical informatics before it came to be known as a field. And so with all that experience over decades of years, we have a lot of built up skill and ability here that may not exist in other areas. Why the first year students may be learning something from me, perhaps. Uh, by the time that they get the PhD, I am the one learning from the students. At the University of Utah, we have so many different avenues available to students that they can really choose, you know, what particular domain or field you want to work in. You have so many opportunities and so many facilities here that are provided to you to, to do research. I'm currently collaborating with a professor uh, in the Department of Internal Medicine, and I would not be doing anything else. I really enjoy the collaborations I have. My collaboration with a bench researcher is very different from other students at the department, but there are other collaborations. I think almost every student is collaborating with another department or another researcher. We do informatics from the spectrum of molecules to cells to people in the clinic, to populations. So it's the entire gamut of the informatics process. And there are very few programs that have such a reach and such a broad faculty. Throughout the department, we have individuals working with clinicians, with immunologists, with everybody in the real world. And so having faculty that can connect you to individuals outside of the department is invaluable. The uh, spectacular thing about informatics is, as far as I can tell, we have zero unemployment in the informatics trained community. Informatics is only going to grow as researchers demand more data and like the bench scientists produce more data, then you're going to need more management of that data and more analysis. So I'm extremely excited about the future of informatics. It is, it is one of those fields that I don't think we're ever going to see an end to it because as new science comes online, where are we going to put that data and how are we going to figure out how that's processed? How are we going to figure out the best ways to represent data back to clinicians, back to patients, back to public health officials, back to your bench scientists? Um, we've only scratched the surface for this.